our next guests, uh, stars of a new Aussie film called Oyster Farmer. One is an Aussie icon, the other is one of our brightest young actors. Please welcome to the show Jack Thompson and Alex O'Loughlin. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> and A Rod. Hey. I can't believe you know about the A Rod. Hey, what's the A Rod thing? I've been told by a friend of ours to call you A Rod. Oh, uh, no. Is it an anti erotic thing? I don't know uh. what it is. Steve Curry made it up. Yes. And uh, it's, it's my favourite nickname, though. <laughs> Even though you don't know what it means. I it's don't like know what it dogs. means. He won't tell me. He rod. He rod. He rod. Maybe that's what it is. Now, you two, of course, uh, together for, for Oyster Farmer, but you guys have actually worked together before, haven't you? We, we have. Uh, he used to sell insurance and I used to buy it. I did. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it must be e e exciting for you. I mean, uh, having worked together a couple of times, but uh, for you, Alex, to be with uh, to, with someone like of Jack's calibre, the first time you met him, and he, everyone else involved with the film as well, David Field, Kerry Armstrong, it's fantastic a tremendous cast. cast. It's really amazing. Yeah. How was it for you? Was a, a green kid, it was, fresh out of night, coming? It was in? hard. It was. I was very scared. You know, I. Um... So was I. <laughs> Jack was more Green scary. kid, fresh out of lighter. Yeah, Will you remember the lines? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, there's a lot of pressure that you put on yourself, I think. And I got there and, and Jack Thompson and, you know, and, and all the others. But th I was so comfortable as soon as I got there, they embraced me and I was one of the family. And, and now he's our bastard son. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's fantastic. It's really fantastic to work with this kind of energy that's come out of an industry that I've been a part of creating. Uh, you know, I mean, when I started uh, in 1969, 68, 69, there was no Australian film industry. We created an Australian film industry and we created an Australian film and television school and film being taught at NIDA. And then you get 25, 30 years later, you get this generation of bright young stars like Alex fulfilling these roles in, in, a, in a movie like this, which is really very much about the spirit of Australia and the spirit of who we are as a community. The other night uh, it uh, premiered at the uh, Sydney Film Festival and uh, I'd seen it for the fourth time and I walked out and I said to my wife, that's right. I remember what it is I really love about this country, and that's there in this movie. It is. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, a great one, and I think uh, I think a lot of people will enjoy it. It's it's just it is. It's a beautiful film in a, in a lot of uh, different ways. How do you, uh, as someone who's who's been in the Australian film industry for a while, and, and someone who's just starting out, how do you see things at the moment? A lot of people can be very critical of, of Australian films. How do you feel the Australian film industry is to, faring say, at the moment? I want to say. Uh, you got to say a rod. I want to say, <laughs> I want to say because uh, I'm going to get ten bucks out of this minimum. Rove, rove. Um, <laughs> you don't believe that. Right? You don't believe that. He said you're not going to say that. You're not going to say that. I'm going to say rove, rove. Uh, so. <laughs> Twenty bucks. So. Twenty bucks now. <laughs> Oh, you know what I have to I'll say? I'll call myself Rove, rove. If, I, if I get ten bucks, I'll make ten bucks. No, but, the thing is, hang the on, thing. my girlfriend loves you so much. That's awkward. I know it's awkward. <laughs> No, I get the 20 bucks back. <laughs> <from this year. laughs> but yeah, how do, you, how do you see things going? How do you see the Australian film industry at the moment? I think the Australian film... The thing about, uh, the thing about a film industry is that uh, when you recognise certain factors about it, one in nine movies returns to the producer in Hollywood. We have had an average of one in seven to one in eight here. That's really much higher than, than, than in Hollywood. Uh, and it's, it's a high-risk investment, it's like farming. There are years when it doesn't happen. And then when it does happen, it's fantastic. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard that the Australian film industry is at the end of its tether. Mm. I, I have heard that quite recently. But you know, Rove, I won't use the other term. <laughs> you know, having seen the film, that if you want to know how the Australian film industry is now, 
Go and take a look at this. Yeah, well, we've actually got a clip uh, from the film here. Uh, Alex, I don't know whether you want to set this up. This is your, your character, of course, who... Uh, it is, it uh, is. He, he starts out, he uh, moves up to the, the Hawkesbury from Sydney to uh, become an oyster farmer to help his sister out, gets into a bit of trouble, bit meets of, bit of Jack's mischief. character, an mm -hmm. ex-Vietnam vet, talks a bit of love and life. Do you know the, the scene we're about to show here? I do, I do. This is a scene where um, my character, Jack, talks to... Jack's character Skippy and asks him if he's... Skippy's character Jack. No, sorry. I'll try <laughs> <laughs> and asks him if he's ever been in love. So... Let's have a look. It's uh, The Oyster Farmer is out June 30. I reckon everyone needs drama. Yeah. Makes you feel more alive. Some bastards leap out of planes. Some have a real big wedding. Some lucky bastards even get laid. And some poor fucks carve themselves up. I reckon you're best to know that part of yourself. Because it's going to surface sooner or later, isn't it? You don't want it to come as a shock, eh? Good job, boys. Very Hello. good job. The film is Hello. Oyster Farmer. It is out June 30. Please thank Jack Thompson and Alex O'Loughlin, everybody. Thank you, Thank gentlemen. You, really good to have you on.